All right, guys, figured I'd do an update on the 1971 CB350. Currently treating the tank with vinegar to get rid of all the rust particles. And then once I have that all treated, then I'll get it ready for uh, prep for priming, painting, body fill, etc. And this is currently where I sit. Put a few things on there just to kind of get the overall look. But I got the front forks completely rebuilt and assembled. Everything's been powder coated satin black. I have a really cool plaque made up for the front fender. I'm going to put CB, so it'll be CB350. Headlight should be in today. And then the frame, custom tough side seat. Got the swing arm all put in with new brass, uh, brass bushings. Later on today, I'm going to be doing the hubs. I'm going to get the bearings put in. So these all been powder coated. And I'm going to get the bearings put in along with the new seals so i have to clean up the spacers but i got everything lined up ready to go in motor carbs are done motors in pieces but that'll be the final thing i'm gonna do and then once this is done i'm gonna start doing the the brand new rims that i have and get those laced up and trued and for the tires mounted yeah this is how she sits currently It'll be my winter project to get that all complete. Currently in the garage, I have my bobber that I built. That's the 05 Kawasaki Vulcan 800. There's my 2020 Street Bob. Stage one on it, fun bike. Bobber turned out really good. I'm actually probably gonna pick up another one next weekend, all stock, and I'll probably build a second one. Probably leave the tank stock. I'll do a wrap on it so it has a larger tank and I'll probably do a flat bar. Uh, probably satin black and I'm gonna do a nice red seat. I think that'll look really good. There's my 2013 Harley Davidson 72 edition in the yellow pearl with stage one. Yeah, garage is a little empty right now, but I'll probably have a few more bikes coming in over the next few weeks. I just wanted to do an update on the CB350. I think it's gonna look pretty cool when she's all done. 51 years of vintage restoration. And it's my first vintage uh, rebuild, so I'm excited about it. All right, guys, cheers.